Hello, in this video you'll learn how to create uh, a chart such as this one as you can see here in PDF uh, using PDF Sharp or more specifically MigraDoc from PDF Sharp. So slightly different library although very sort of uh, uh, library that uh, can work together with uh, PDF Sharp basically. If you do want to learn more about specifically generating of fully custom PDF files, uh, you can look at the video where it is explained how to use PDF Sharp library, which is free, uh, open source library available for any use, any project. Uh, in this case, however, it is a chart. So like this one, we have a line and we have bars and then we have numbers. So basically just a quarter uh, quarters and values for quarters. So a very straightforward example. Now, if we get to the code, we have our C sharp code. Um, relatively straightforward, but of course, first we need uh, to go into NuGet packages. And in NuGet packages, we have uh, PDF sharp, MigraDoc. This is the one you need to install. This is, by the way, .NET 9. It fully supports the uh, latest .NET uh, versions. It can run on Linux, it's, it's not bound to Windows or anything like that, so it's quite portable. You can use it anywhere, and again, it's uh, an open source arrangement, so you don't need uh, licenses and things, uh, although you should always check for that and double check in case that changes in the future. Now, the code itself, relatively straightforward arrangement, uh, just like a normal PDF with PDF Sharp, uh, we first need to create a document. So right here we have a, a document created. This is where we will put everything. So we might have some text, you might have uh, some charts like in this case. Uh, in the document, uh, we need to add some kind of a section. Section can be referenced, uh, as you will see it will be referenced later on. Uh, and uh, a document can actually have uh, several of them. It makes it easier to um, sort of separate different things. Uh, uh, that would go into the actual PDF file, which is the document right here. So kind of like the Word document, uh, many of these arrangements, whether it's Word or Excel, you will create some kind of a reference to that general file, and then you go into different segments of the thing, or in this case, different sections. So we add the section, we grab the reference for the section, and into that we will put lots of different things. Now, the other thing is, we have a chart. So we create, construct a chart, and then we can modify it. So we modify it in different ways. So with length, uh, there are many other properties that you can explore, colors and things of that nature. And the most important thing really here is uh, just the type of chart that we might have. You will see later on, we also have series. So series one, series two, so the bars, and the lines. Uh, so just because you choose uh, a chart type, column 2D or whatever else you want to have, you can have, as you can see right here, uh, some different options, Bison, basically all the basic uh, sort of options for such uh, visual data representation that you might find anywhere else. It's not too advanced, uh, but uh, it is uh, sort of just good enough uh, for those basic needs. Uh, so we add uh, some values, some sizes, some things uh, to, to the document, to the chart, uh, and then we need to create series. Now, the way we add series, we don't construct series, but we, we kind of do construct series, but we uh, construct them directly into a chart like this. We access a series collection in the chart, and then we add series. And then once again, we just grab a reference. And from the reference, we can add the values, we can change uh, the different properties uh, of the series uh, specifically, uh, and change different uh, kinds of things uh, like that. So for series one, you will be changing everything for series one. For series two, you have reference to series two, just like that. Once again, add series, and then you can change everything. And uh, again, you can see, chart type. The general chart type was column 2D, but in this case we are using lines, so you can add multiple series. They can be different chart types. There's no uh, problem with that at all.
just like it, it lets you do that and that's a very good thing because you often want to do that uh, just uh, don't confuse that initial choice thinking that will prevent you to do that no it will not finally we have the x series now x series uh, would be basically whatever goes to the bottom basically showing uh, whatever value that uh, bar is or whatever value that dot is on the line so you add those names in this case we have quarters so four quarters q1 through q4 that's it uh, and then we can add uh, titles uh, now titles so we don't add to series we add them to the axis x and y axis in the chart that's where we add the titles and we get a title we get a caption there are a few other things that you can change in terms of title directly so we do provide uh, quite a few choices now finally we have all those references and value set uh, so we start from chart we create a chart uh, from there we create series and series are already inside the chart so we don't need to add it to chart it's already added we just take a reference and the same goes for the x series we add it and we have the value or our reference to the values so so we have those that's it we don't need to add them anywhere else we don't need to initialize they are there what we do however need to do in order to actually display the chart is use section add that is how you add the actual chart to the pdf file and then after that uh, you just need to establish a renderer for a document a very simple arrangement construct pdf document renderer and add document which is what we originally created to this uh, renderer so you, you don't save document directly from the document reference you first need to construct this PDF document renderer. And after that, we need to render the documents. So once the document is ready, we can use the save method like that to save it uh, any way you want. Uh, now it can be somewhere in, uh, uh, in your computer. You can use the uh, environment uh, um, locations uh, such as documents and things like that, which is I do recommend uh, to do. Uh, now, if you want to learn more about uh, C Sharp in general, you can watch uh, the course uh, for C Sharp that is uh, available. You can also take a look at the Patreon page where you will find this source code and uh, source code for all the other videos, as well as uh, for subscribe numbers. So you'll find uh, some free courses, some good free courses, C Sharp, Blazor, API development, uh, and lots of different other things. Uh, and with that said, we will conclude this video.